Strindberg's Miss Julie, the original, written in 1888, was very controversial in its time. It wasn't performed in its own country for at least a year after it first appeared. In my adaptation of the original Miss Julie, this version transposes the action to a farmhouse in the Karoo, in the Eastern Cape Karoo, which is a place of very bleak beauty. Miss Julie is the daughter, the Afrikaans daughter of a white farmer. She's very lost. She has no love or connection. The only thing she does feel rooted to is the land and the farm she comes from. John is her father's servant, who is a farm laborer and has grown up on the farm. He grew up with Julie. They grew up together. They had stories together, but there was always a division between the two of them in terms of status. In this version, I've changed Christine, who was the fiancé in the original, Jean's fiancé, um, is actually John's mother. She was born on this farm. Her parents were born on this farm. Her grandparents were born on this farm. So all she knows is cleaning the house and making the master happy. The whole piece, like the original, unfolds one night in the kitchen. If she is the inheritor of the land in its current status quo, that tension between them is there already. She wants to provoke a sexual experience with him at the start of the piece. Why are you still in your overalls? I asked you to change. On the night of Freedom Day, her father is in town. She's just been dumped by her fiancé due to what she has done to him. She decides to have a party and drink and let loose. Be a man tonight, John. Not a boy. There is male-female polarity that, that shifts inside that, that makes it so potent. He loved Miss Julie, you know, when they grew up. But again, there was that line that you can't cross. Systems have to be held in place on a farm. So if something like this does happen, how do you wake up the following morning and actually keep the system moving? This is just a game to you. For me and my mom, we have nowhere else to go. She was born on this farm. Her sweat is in these walls. Her blood in this floor. Now you want me to risk everything because you are bored and drunk tonight? It's just a walk. I'm not asking you to marry me. I wouldn't, even if you ask. You slap me again, you better be ready. For what? He's always been used and treated and as a slave, and one night he gets to unleash it all at her. As that unfolds and eventually explodes between them, the possibility for doom and the possibility for them running away and making a life together um, flower, and then you don't know if it's going to bloom into darkness or hope. Tell me, Miss Julie, what if you are carrying my child? Then this land will return to the rightful owners. So this, this is your revenge? No, this is restitution of body and soil. My what? what is young? A man with a plan. Be careful, because the nest you have your hand in is a black mamba. You're not a snake. You're just a past, sad, empty-handed bull, still trying to be powerful. And you are just a kaffir. Stop up and have a frog, you fucking frog, You will never be anything but a kaffir. Good for cleaning. Inside this very domestic setting of a kitchen and a very one-on-one -on -one personalized relationship between John and Julie, is a possibility to explore all those little nuances and growing tensions inside the nation. Race issue, even today, is a problem. It's about what is happening right now in our societies, in our country, in South Africa. I think theatre is a kind of social acupuncture. It's most painful where that needle needs to go in, but that's where it's needed. It becomes a process of searching for where that tension resides and touching that nerve. <laughs>